in the course Experts in Teams at NTNU, master degree students from different disciplines are put together in groups to work on actual problems. Our task was to work on a futuristic user interface. The intention was to use different techniques used in science fiction movies like eye tracking, gestures, voice, touch or biopotentials to communicate with computers. We decided to make a product where we use neurofeedback to control the user interface. And to make the product even more interesting, we made it so that you can be able to control a helicopter with your brain. Neurofeedback is a tool used to help people practicing to regulate their own brain waves. The procedure consists of attaching electrodes on the outside of the skull to detect electric activity from the brain. These signals are then amplified and analyzed by a computer program that gives continuous visual or auditive feedback to the person. Brain waves of different frequencies can be associated with different stages of consciousness. And different areas of the brain can be associated with different functions. By using knowledge about which type of brain activity in what specific brain area that is associated with a certain function, the neurofeedback training can give positive feedback so that the person can learn to recognize what type of brain activity is the most useful. Neurofeedback can also be used to teach persons with abnormal brain activity how to regulate their activity so that it becomes more similar to what is considered as normal. To make the helicopter fly with your brain, we first have to attach electrodes to the scalp. The electrodes register the electrical activity in the brain and send the analog signals to Braintune, a box that amplifies the signals and converts analog signals into digital signals. Braintune filters out the desired frequencies and the strength of the output signal is based on how strong the brain activity is in the desired frequency range. A program in the computer reads the signal and uses it to determine how much throttle the helicopter shall give. Information about the throttle is sent from the program to PCTX, which is a box that converts the digital signals from the computer to PPM signals. At last, the PPM signals are sent from PCTX to the radio transmitter and the radio transmitter controls the helicopter. Here we can see in practice how we can use our brain activity to control the helicopter. By focusing on using the correct frequencies in the desired area of the brain, we can get the helicopter to lift from the ground. In this case, we emphasize the correct brain activity in the attention area of the brain. This method can also be used to train the brain activity in other areas of the brain.